First up right now at 4.30, we start this afternoon with breaking news from the state. The flu season taking another deadly turn. Several more people have died, including a child from here in Connecticut. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Roger Suzanne is joining us live now. And Roger, obviously this is some very scary news for parents. Oh, absolutely. You know, it's very painful news from the Department of Public Health. Nine new victims have been reported as having died from flu-related illnesses, including a six-year-old child, or a child, I should say, who is under the age of six. Now, all nine of the victims who passed away died last week. At this point, the influenza virus has killed 32 people this flu season here in Connecticut. The child who recently died is the first pediatric death, but doctors warn the virus is widespread right now and shows no signs of slowing down. The number of flu-related deaths has actually dipped compared to last year, but the number of people who have contracted the virus and who have been hospitalized are both greater than in a normal flu season. The Department of Health has not released much information about the child who passed away, but we know they are between the ages of one and five years old, and they lived in New Haven County. We don't know whether that child who died had received the flu vaccine, but the Department of Health says generally between 70 and 80 percent of children who pass away from influenza-related illnesses have not been vaccinated. Today we spoke with Connecticut's influenza surveillance coordinator who told us the flu season is far from finished here in Connecticut, so if you have not received your vaccine yet, do so as soon as possible. We are strongly recommending if you haven't gotten your flu vaccine uh, at this time, it's still not too late because uh, the flu season appears to be peaking, but we're, we suspect there'll be uh, very high levels of flu at least going into March and possibly as late as April. And coming up at the top of the hour, we'll tell you why this flu season is particularly dangerous for children. Roger Suzanne in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.